Let me pray. Father God, as we come to your text in 2 Thessalonians, I pray that you would help us to understand that what we have as duties uh, uh, in our citizenship of this country, you command us to love our country, you command us to be salt and light in our country, and to not be uh, lights or flames that are hidden, but that make a difference. We know that every single candidate in every single election is flawed. They are sinners. There are some, however, progressively murderous and theft-oriented ideologies that are not salt and light in our country, that are ruining our country, and that we are living under judgment for. Period. I, I want to confess to you, meaning admit to you what you already know, that the murder of millions of babies in this culture has caused judgment to fall on this culture. I want to also admit to you what you already know, that gender, sexual, marriage issues of all sorts and flavors that don't reflect a biblical understanding of those things are also in violation, you call it an abomination in your sight, and we are under judgment for those as well. We are also under judgment for a Marxist, socialistic redistribution of wealth to satisfy the demonic covetousness that is wreaking havoc on all people in our country. So, as a country, we repent. I wish that I could speak for every living soul within our borders and that we would repent. But God, help us to understand these are things that you have said we shouldn't do. We shouldn't covet our neighbor's belongings. We shouldn't murder innocent children in the womb. We shouldn't endorse, let alone have a blind eye to what one pastor calls same-sex mirage. We have violated your law. Help us rend our hearts. Help us to repent. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.